nine, a third of Charlton's total this season. Well, Peter Reid has done away with the old guards guard. The players recruited by Terry Venables, Teddy Lucic, Raul Bravo and Paul Oaken are left behind in Yorkshire. Nick Barmby is dropped to the substitutes bench. On dribble about. To Viduka. Now to Smith. Squares it in. And put in by Cure. They'll take any goal that's given to them at the moment. The Australian combination finished off by Harry Kuehl. It's his amazing run on the near side of the pitch that started it all off. Viduka used his weight. Smith, the architect, the finisher, Harry Kuehl. It was a goal that showed a little bit of confidence as returning to the Leeds United team under their new manager, Peter Reid. Professor John McKenzie was up to uh, was about 10 days ago. He replaced publicity Peter Ridsdale, as he was uh, quite cynically known in some quarters. A 60 year old professor has uh, insisted he's going to keep a lower profile and try and straighten the books at the club. About almost £80 million in the red. Job well done. There's a bit of finishing off to be done. But they're halfway there. Smith held the ball, arm's length, and he was tripped up almost as if on the school playground by Richard Rufus. His arms wrapped around him and then legged him up. Simple as that. And of course, being games elsewhere where the central defender has been sent off today for a long to dissimilar offence. Tell you what, it would be an awfully good time for Ian Hart to break his duck for the season. Hart hasn't scored. It's a good time to start now. Makes absolutely no mistake. Leeds United are back in business. Salvation starts here. Leeds United proving that they do have Hart. Ian Hart. He's made it Leeds 2 Charlton nil. It's all looking very sunny in the garden now for Peter Reid. Finished job prospects of power of goes well. Well worth the long arduous journey south for those. Run. Smith, nice touch, Viduka, the pair are working well, Viduka! Massive goal for Leeds United! And this dogs of war mentality is working for the Yorkshireman. Well, Smith's not down, Viduka direct. And two of the points, six goals in six games. For the mighty Australian centre forward. Crisis, what crisis? I can't believe it, two and a half minutes to go. And they're 3-0 up in the first half. What's the formula, Peter? Ray? went in and he was caught around the midriff by Lucas Radaby. He's full of profuse apologies and explanations, but it's not going to get him out of trouble. Shouldn't be the mark, he says. But he wants to do that in centre field. England's number one is the cry for the Leeds fans. They're hoping that Robinson can get them out of such a difficult situation here. The 
seconds trickle away. Robinson tries to play mind games with York. And Charlton Athletic enter the goal feast. That is the first half at the Valley. Yule does so. Charlton make the mark. Maybe it's not a formality for Leeds United. Charlton's Jason Yule becomes the first player from the Valley this season to go to double figures in the Premiership. This is his 10th league goal of the season. And something works his magic. Gives it to Manuka! Party time for Leeds United. It could be an end of season survival party. Well, there is that togetherness, and they know that this is an almighty result for them. Credit to Smith. Took on four defenders, drew them, put it into the path of Vinuka. Still work to be done. But a scintillating curl with the outside of the boot from Mark Viduka, his second of the game. Leeds United's fourth. Points now, surely, in the back. Four goals in the three previous Premiership games. Ten for Alan Smith. Well, he's just... A pain in the rear for Charlton. Unhinged Rufus, and then he got a clatter into the shin guard, untidy from Young. He's had a hand in virtually everything that Leeds have done. into the second half. Leeds United going for their fifth goal. Mark Finuka's hat-trick! Can you believe it? Peter Reid would have settled for an edgy one-goal win. They've hit five and maybe the scoring's not over yet. They chose the right man to take the third penalty that's occurred in this game this afternoon. Mark Viduka can do no wrong. Built like an Australian fast bowler, he took a half a skip and a jump like a spin bowler. The Charlton fans voting with their feet. The gentleman heading to the pub and the ladies maybe going to go do a little bit of Saturday afternoon shopping. So far. For some of the... Uh, Older supporters, they were hoping a couple of years ago that they'd be lighting in this side to the Brenners and the Giles. That with a game of formality, but Leeds hoping to turn five goals into six. It's cure. It is six for Leeds United. They can see a rainbow. Easy pickings. The side who relegation threatened in every sentence before this game. Now, flimsy defending from El Kalej, the substitute. Kuhl picked up on it, used Vinuka as a decoy, and superbly squeezed it in at the near post. Harry Kuhl's. Second of the afternoon, Leeds sixth. Enough people listening to the radio and watching Soccer Saturday up and down the country shaking their heads in disbelief. I suppose it has to be seen to be believed. And there's still 14 minutes to go. We want seven is the cry from the Leeds fans. Johnson, who's only just turned 20 years of age, will make his debut. And Alan Smith, who's performed magnificently in front of the watching England manager, hasn't scored, but that will come. 
he has led the Leeds fight. Speaks with a Leeds accent, committed himself to the club and has had a fantastic afternoon. And a new face. Comes into the Leeds lineup, Simon Johnson. He's been a substitute on a couple of occasions, but this is the first time he's got on of the season. The duel, Harry Kuehl will also be given a standing ovation by the Leeds United supporters. Occasionally they suggest his work rate is low. Well, today he has given absolutely everything for Peter Reid. Much appreciated by his adoring public. Capped with the first and the last goal so far for Leeds United today. His return has been good. He's got a respectable 14 goals now this season for Leeds United. Jason Wilcox, who's been a regular good professional, comes on. Heartfelt thanks from Reid and Kidd. Oh, Wayne Rooney playing for England this week. Well, here's a man who beats his scoring record in the Premiership by four days, James Milner. Future's good for Leeds when they have the likes of James Milner to come into the side. He'll take the place of Eirik back up, and they can alert him to the situation. Well, Barber will program the computer, and Backer will soon realise that his number's up. They're going to need to replace the batteries if they can make the change. So Milner comes on to taste the success. Security for him. Peter Reid is working his magic. He likes the six pack. He's got one from his team this afternoon. Half of the goal scored by the Aussie hero, Mark Viduka. Couple for Kuehl, Ian Hart. To the point from the spot. Five game losing streak comes to an end, and it all looks rather sunny in the garden for Leeds United now. They completely outplayed a rather sorry Charlton Athletic. Peter Reid fights the good fight. His first win in his second game, they've beaten Charlton 6 1. Leeds United came here with a plan and it worked absolutely perfectly. Good teamwork, set up the first goal for Harry Kuehl after 12 minutes. And then the nuisance. Alan Smith, appended by Rufus. Empty put away by Ian Hart, his first goal of the season. Three minutes before the break, a power strike from Mark Viduka made it 3-0. The only consolation on the afternoon for Charlton was a penalty. Parker fouled. Jason Newell, their leading scorer, got into double figures in the league for the season. Viduka scored his second of the game. And the third was soon to follow. Smith, again, the victim, winning a penalty. Casually put away by Mark Viduka. The final nail in the coffin. Came from Harry Kuehl for Charlton Athletic. Leeds United outmanoeuvring Charlton Athletic in every single department. Final score 6-1.